What's up everyone, in this video we'll learn to use motion. So let's get into it. This is the website. Click the sign up button to create a new account. Motion supports both Google and Microsoft accounts so you can use one and sign up. On this screen I'll select the individual plan. Motion is not a free app so you must add your card details. We'll sign up for a 7 day free trial. Next, we need to connect to a calendar account. This will sync that calendar with Motion. You can choose your Google or Microsoft account. Allow permissions and we are good to go. Click this button next. Here you can choose the calendar to add. Click the blue button. Then we'll set our working hours. I'll leave them to the default. Here you can select any if you have reoccurring tasks. I'll select this check email for the sake of this tutorial. Then we'll create our workspace. This will be my YouTube channel workspace. We'll also create a project and add a few tasks. Motion is asking for the estimated task time and due date. One of the great things about this program is that it uses AI to schedule your tasks. So if we set the due date here, it will automatically sort the tasks. Let's choose the theme first. As I selected the 21st, because of Saturday, those tasks have been moved to Monday. Also all the tasks have been placed automatically. On this calendar interface, you'll see your tasks in reverse chronological order. This view right here is the week view, but you can switch to the day view from the top. Let's go to next week. Our check email task is daily and other two tasks are due Monday. You can drag and drop a task to move it. But as this task was auto scheduled, moving it will make it a fixed time task. If you don't finish this task, Motion will auto schedule it again. You'll see the color difference between the auto scheduled and time fixed tasks. Also, Motion has moved the other task to the top. You can double click on a task to edit it. Changing the task status adding a description and other things are possible. Also, you can comment on this task to remember stuff or help your teammates. If there are any issues with tasks, you'll see them here. Right now, it says that one task is after the deadline. This is because we said Saturday, but AI placed it in the Monday column. You can click on this blue button to resolve those issues. We'll get a few options to choose from. To add a new task, click this blue button in the sidebar. Put down the name, description and due dates. Here it says today to tomorrow. This means that Motion will choose a time today or tomorrow. You can also pick a specific day or days. Then select the task duration. This split option will split the task. This is helpful if you have meetings in between or want to take breaks. Also, turn this off if you don't want AI to schedule it. We can also add an event or a task by dragging on the calendar. By default, it will create an event, but you can change it to a task at any time. When you add an event, event details will open up. This event is time fixed and because it's an event, we can add guests. When you do, they'll get an email with a Google Meet conference link. Also, the events color is red on the calendar to distinguish between the two. To see its details, click on it. To start a task, click the three buttons and then the start button. This will display a small pop-up with task details. Let's go to projects and tasks. Here you'll see all your tasks. Also, our write script task is in the without project section. This is a problem with motion. If you want to add a task to a project, you must click this button next to the project because there is no option to choose the project on the calendar screen. We can't even edit this task and select a project now. Anyway, this Kanban view will show the task board. By default, the tasks are grouped by priority but you can change it from the top. Motion offers a few options to group the tasks. It looks basic, so let's change the priority of some tasks. 
it looks good now. Then this is the booking page where you can manage your appointments. Click get started. First you will set up your booking link, your hours, buffer time, duration and requirements. Also adjust the link here if you want. Click this blue button to save this template. This was a template for reoccurring appointments and we'll learn to use it. But first let's create a one-time booking link. Click here. You'll be presented with the calendar to choose your time. Let's say I choose a few hours on Friday. The program will compose a message to email to the client. The meeting lasts 30 minutes so the client will choose the desired time on Friday by clicking this link. By default, it's an online meeting but can be changed. Let's create a new template and call it advice appointment. Once the template is set, we'll click this generate button to edit the options. You can also include any teammates. Then choose the dates that suit your time. The message will be displayed. Copy it and email it to your client to confirm the booking. When they click this link, they'll see all the booking times as you have given them the choice to select from the whole week. They'll put down their details to confirm the booking. When they do, you'll get a confirmation email. Also, if you go to your calendar, you'll see this event. And if any other tasks are due simultaneously, they'll be moved accordingly. Click on this event to see all the details. So this is the idea behind Motion. You can create tasks and events that will automatically be scheduled or create bookings and let your clients book meetings and let Motion take care of those. With all being covered, this is it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch you later. Take care.